Now I do want to show you guys something. If we open workspace and go to folder of parts, you'll see everything getting named. However, if I were to create a model or anything really and I name it end part, it's not going to end this code. As you can see, the parts are still being named. And that's because I made the change on my player. If I were to switch over to the server and then create something called end part, as you can see, it printed outside of loop because it broke out of the loop. However, switching back to the client, let's go over why this happened. If I make any changes on the client, say I'm an exploiter and I get access to the explorer using dex, what I could do is actually change anything in the explorer. That's why when exploiters go into a game, they're able to delete walls and all that, but you won't see it on your screen. As you can see, I'm in the game on two different accounts. This account is right here, it's called player2, and this account is right here, it's called player1. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to go to player1, I'm going to pretend I'm an exploiter, so I'm going to get access to the explorer, I'm going to open up the workspace, and I'm going to delete the blue part. As you can see, it's gone on my screen. However, it's not gone on this player's screen. Let me show you guys. In explorer, the blue part is still there. So if you're wondering why this happened, it all kind of goes back to local scripts. If you remember in the beginning, I told you guys to make sure you're inserting normal scripts and not local scripts or module scripts, and that's because local scripts run for the player. That means that script is run for each player individually. Each of those players can have anything in that script, and other players in the game will not see those changes. However, if I were to switch over to the server and delete the green part, I'm on the server, and when I delete the green part, you can see the green part is gone on both players. And this happens because that is a server. That's a server script, and it runs for the entire server. That was a really basic explanation, and if you don't understand, I highly recommend the video I have linked in the description. It'll teach you everything you need to know.